top eight qualifiers in the men's 800 freestyle. Swimming in lane number one, sixth in the 400 I am this week from Wolfpack Elite, Eric Knowles. Lane two, a 12th place finish in the 400 freestyle, also from Wolfpack Elite, Gil Kiesler. Lane three, the El Salvador national record holder in this event, representing University of Louisville, Marcela Acosta. Lane four, your 400 and 1500 champion from Boulder City, Henderson, Swim Team Zane Grophy. Lane five, your NCAA 1650 champion from Michigan, Felix Obad. Lane six, your 200 backstroke champion from this weekend from Alto Swim Club, Johannes Kalani. Lane seven, a fourth place finish in the 1500 this week from Indiana Swim Club, Mikey Calvillo. And in lane eight, fifth in the 1500 on Thursday from University of Michigan Swim Team, Will Roberts. These are your top eight in the 800 freestyle. Question begs to be asked. Zane Grothy won the 400. He won the 1500. Who's going to challenge him in winning the 800? We've got the mile NCAA champion from Michigan and Felix Obeck in lane five. Obeck also owner of the Austrian national record holder in this event at 749.24. Grothy 743.74. His best time in history, in his career, excuse me, is only 14 hundredths off of the American record. If you're going to break into the top 10, though, you've got to be really quick. 751.88. It's the 10th fastest time in the world this year. Brophy was second in the world in 2018. Right now, he's first in the pool, 56.40 on his first hundred. Brophy has the U.S. Open record set that Mark at a 744.57. Last summer, Nationals in Irvine. Two hundred down, one fifty six forty six. For Zane Grothy in lane number four, second place right now belongs to Marcella Acosta. Louisville Cardinal in lane number three has been on 755-70 in his career. Two twenty-six eighty. an eye out on that pro swim record. Michael McBroom set it in 2014, one of the older records that we still have, 749.96. Brophy has had himself a great weekend and maybe on form enough to challenge that record.
Brophy settling in at a 30.5 pace. Hoback, uh, University of Michigan swim team moving into second place. Here's the halfway mark. We'll check in with Zane Grothy, your leader, who has dominated the 400 and 1500 this weekend. 357.93 at the 400 mark. Probably not quick enough to challenge a pro swim record, but. Trial cut in this event is an 812.99. You'll need to be out in a 405 or faster. You're going to find yourself looking at an invitation to the Olympic trials next summer. to go we really settled into a 30.0 pace 457.87 at the 500 meter mark for Grothy. Obeck continuing to hang on to second and Acosta right now to third place. Obeck second to Grothy in that 400 free two nights ago. He's also swam the 200 free and the 400 IM. And we saw Acosta in that 400 free as well, where he finished in seventh place. But it is all Zane Grophy as we come up on 200 meters to go. Grothy still sitting sub 30 on his lap times for each 50. Three 50s remaining. Lane number one, Eric Knowles having a very good swim. His personal best, 803.29. Challenging for that fourth place. Mikey Cavillo in lane seven. The Indiana Swim Club 18 year old in lane seven. Taking on the NC State Wolfpack Elites, Eric Knowles in lane one. Final 100 meters for Zane Grothy, and now the final 100 for Felix Obeck. Everybody's got their bells, and we're wrapping up our 800 freestyles. Here comes Zane Grophy sprinting all the way into the finish, and he is going to win the 800 freestyle in dominant fashion, 7.53.40, Zane Grothy. 2nd place, Felix Obeck, 8.04.69. And 3rd place actually goes to Mikey Cavillo with an 8.08.56. A little bit of last minute speed to sneak in and steal that 3rd place spot.